Hi, this is John Doe. I'm back again, guys, for another commentary. So today I'm checking out Breakdown. So the year is 1997. Breakdown is directed by a Jonathan Amosto. Uh, anybody interested in syncing up with my commentary for Breakdown, starring the great Kurt Russell, please set your timestamp to zero, film on pause, also put on your subtitles as well. Just to note, guys, I am running a copy of Breakdown. Um, the movie's available on YouTube for free. So I'll provide the fi film link within the descriptive part of my commentary video text for anybody interested. So there are options in regards to how you want to sync this thing up. So I'll give you a countdown in five... So in five, four, three, two, one, hit play. It's been a few years since I've seen this, but I like this movie. So they've got the Paramount logo. I love this movie. It's super fucking tight, lean. There's no meat. There's no. There's no meat. There's no fat on this movie. If there's no meat, there's no fucking movie. Uh, Paramount Pictures. So Dino De Laurentiis. Just for sinking purposes, I'll read out a few of these titles. So Jonathan Mosto films just appeared. Breakdown. Kurt Russell's appeared. Breakdowns appeared. Breakdowns all over the fucking screen. So we're choppering in, coming into focus. Oh, desolate landscape. I love it. Music's phenomenal. Just this like whining sound. Yeah, the desolation, isn't it? Isolation. It's a JT Walsh credit. So hopefully you're all in sync with me. Kathleen Quinlan. Very good. MC Ganey. Yeah, man. Jack Noseworthy. Oh, he's worthy. He got a roll. So we've got a nice aerial perspective car rotating around. Kind of reminds me of The Shining a little bit, this opening. Slight like an isolated car moving in on this uh, isolated area, so to speak. This is what America does great, though. These um, transitional spaces between like the major cities. You've just got these open roads that just seem to go on for miles and miles on end, you know? Was it Route 66, isn't it, I think? So we'll get to character names in a minute. Actors, I'll go through all of that. Hey. So the colour of this car is red. There you go. Such an insightful commentary so far. Eh? D.O.P. It's old Doug. Ah, so we've got so Coyote Union, so it's an aerial map perspective. And the 15, the number 15. So the producers are the De Laurentiis. Very good. Screenplay by Jonathan Mosto. So directed by Jonathan Mosto has just appeared on screen. So the wife's asleep. So, introductions we have. So, these are the Taylors. So, we've got Jeff Taylor, played by Kurt Russell, and Amy Taylor, played by Kathleen Quinlan. Kurt, looking a little bit younger here. So, 1977. Yeah, it's probably good, like, 25 years ago, isn't it? Oh, yeah, Kurt. Oh, container's empty, mate. How unfortunate. I'm guessing it's pretty warm outside. Sort of middle of the summer. This is very much like a summertime movie. Oh, look. You don't... Big no-no, look. Our car deliberately pulling out in front of him. Fuck me, man. It's fucking redneck town. Oh, fuck off, you prick. Deliberately pulled out in front of him. How strange. It's, it's started, isn't it? These fucking hillbillies looking for their latest fucking uh, victims, isn't it? I love the location, man. So that's just no... Okay, so diner, we're assuming. A garage, maybe? Oh, 
So, who we got here? I think L M C Gainey's about to make an entrance. So this is L. He's a right fucking dickhead with his cowboy hat on. Oh, this is L. Yeah, man. Nice car. Do you know who you're talking to, mate? It's car fucking Russell. Show some respect. C D. Well, you old school, mate. You don't dabble in CDs, eh? Nine yards. Oh yeah. Game of golf, mate. No need to be so aggressive. Is L your name, mate? I was going to call you fucking dickhead. Give it to him, Kurt. Little fella, you seem to be awfully interested in my fucking life. Why don't you piss off? Shit for brains, oh yeah. Shut up, mate. You pulled out in front of him. Yeah, I know, you know, you, you're out in the middle of nowhere, mate. You've got a little bit of cabin fever. I can clearly see you're going fucking crazy. Oh, yeah. Clock's the wife here, doesn't he? Oh, shh. That's my fucking husband. Mmm. You'd want to be hauling ass, wouldn't you? ASAP, you know? So the dickhead's just walking off. Yeah, it's just a, what I enjoy about this movie. A lot of films, you have to sort of uh, suspend your disbelief. But with this, it feels completely plausible, you know, that something like this could happen. And that's what I really enjoy. So Jeff's looking on. Fucking dickhead. Got his fucking six pack. What a prick, man. Yeah, MC Gainey's fantastic. Really... You instantly just hate the guy, you know? So if I recall right, haven't they fucked up the car or something? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. They've... Flicked a switch, adjusted a cable. They've done something. So the car's about to break down. It's so a pretty low-key dialogue. More isolated shots of this endless fucking road. <clears throat> oh, what do you pick out, love? Some fucking Twinkies. Just remembering character names here. So it's Amy, Jeff. Oh, I think we got old JT Walsh is coming in soon, isn't it? Old Red Bar. Donuts? Fuck me, man. So the exterior looks pretty real. But again, I think this is probably all shot on sound stages. But very nice. So the dialogue's pretty low-key. Just a husband and wife, innit? Oh, yeah, here we go. Look, check engine. Oh, how convenient. So... L, L must... Uh, it's hard to say why the car's... Break. Somebody's fiddled with the car, but you're not entirely sure who it was. I'm guessing it was L. So, officially broken down. Location is just wonderful. With these, like, rocky formations. And it's like the red, sort of sandy... And you've got the, like, the little green patches. It's fantastic. And then just the open road. You can really feel the heat as well. It feels like prime time, summertime, you know? I think it just adds to the movie, you know, super tense, uh, high stakes, high octane. Oh, look at his phone, man. Jesus, man. It's not a million miles away from a 1980s phone. These like those like giant bricks. So this is all set up. So they've planned this, these fucking hillbillies. So they'll break down and now oh JT Walsh is gonna chop her in. Innocent passerby. Oh you need a fucking hand. 
He's rocking in on his fucking uh, badass fucking uh, not station wagon. His fucking cruiser. He's in his fucking cruiser, any old JT Walsh. His character name's hilarious. Red Bar. All kinds are wrong. So nice dynamics between the husband and wife. Oh shit, love. Be careful you flag over. Oh, here he comes. Oh no, see dickheads from the um, diner. So this is L. Oh yeah. Don't they pull up in the distance? Don't. Yeah, is he going to pull off to the right here? I can't remember. Yeah, so look, in the distance. Nice shift with the music. Jeff. Those dickheads are pulled up. Circling round. So clearly being watched, aren't they? He's waiting for his fucking buddy to arrive behind him. It's all fucking planned, look. There we go. So it's JT Walsh. So old Red Bar. What a wonderful actor old JT Walsh is. Yeah, so just for sinking purposes, guys, I'll reference a couple of shots from the film. Here we go. So JT Walsh pulling up in his fucking lorry. There he is. Love the sunglasses and the hat. American hat. So, JT Walsh, I'll give it to you. He's literally just got out. Oh, hi, yeah. I'm Red Bar. You can trust me, yeah, guys? Oh, ho, howdy doody do, ma'am. Did you pricks break down? Oh, yeah. Let me give it a push, yeah? <laughs> You're quick to ask questions, isn't he? But seems legit to start with. Oh, it's a long asshole. Oh, yeah. Can I take your wife? You stay here, hubby, yeah? Me, me and your wife go off, yeah? 60 miles, fuck me. Oh, how unfortunate. Look at your engine. Somebody's fucked with it. So it's a great opening with this character, Red Bar, because he just seems like a normal guy. So it catches the audience off guard. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Because as it stands, the only dodgy individual we've seen so far is Al. So that's old MC Gainey. Yeah, JT Walsh seems legit here. Yeah, the wife's thinking, shit, do we want to be out here in the middle of nowhere? Do you think um, Kurt Russell's a bit a bit on edge due to that interaction he had with L at the diner, the gas station? Yeah, the wife's like, it's getting pretty warm. Don't think we want to be isolated out here for much longer. So he's worried about the car. Oh, God, it's just a big no-no. You just don't get in that fucking lorry with a fucking stranger. Fuck me, man. Too quick to trust a random stranger, you know? Presume that they're okay? Fuck me, man. I'll step on up. Red Bar's like, oh, God, I can't believe how easy your husband's making this for me to fucking kidnap your ass. Bye-bye, wave, you'll never see him again. Fuck me, man. So, Jeff Taylor, a.k.a. Mr. Kurt Russell, he's home alone. Yeah, this is pretty ominous. So he's just seeing them head off into the distance. A lingering shot. Yeah, it's nice. A nice transition, little dissolve. 
Oh, I can just hear the faint sound of thunder. So he's looking at his watch, thinking, where the fuck is she? Repeated shot. Open highway road, empty. Yeah, I love it, man. Just starting to, it's just starting to bubble and simmer. You're thinking, hmm, something ain't right here. Ah, oh, this is where he figures it out. Yeah, somebody's just randomly um, disconnected a cable, isn't it? I think it's underneath. Here we go, look. So this, yeah, it's right underneath. So yeah, it was, clearly it was fuck. yeah, look, Earl. A fucking prick Earl. Tampered with this. So the car's fine. It's a little bit unfortunate they didn't clock that sooner before, obviously, the wife is now AWOL. So Kurt's thinking, oh, I'm good to uh, rock and roll now. Just got to find my wife. Oh, it's Belen Diner. It's Bell's Diner. Beer and food. Love the music. Oh, it's hillbilly music. Yeah. This diner is dodgy as fucking hell, man. Yeah, it becomes a little bit um, Hitchcocky in here. The paranoia starts to ramp up. You start to feel like everybody's involved, you know? Nobody's letting on. They're all sort of looking at it. Yeah, this is beautiful, look. So, diner. Oh, yeah. Fucking shady individuals. Wife, mate. Never seen her. Staring at him like a fucking dickhead. Look. White what? A Bennett and sweater, do you say? Mm. I'm getting busy. People come and go. Yeah? Excuse me. Oh, you on about old JT Welsh? Oh, mate, he's dodgy as hell. Haven't seen him in 15 years. Yeah. You're going to order... S yeah, look, nobody's like... They're all looking off. So it's like they don't... None of them are willing to help. Yeah, it's all kinds of shady, I tell you. Oh, yeah. Just found a new husband, eh? Yeah, I can't quite recall if the uh, bartender's involved. I kind of feel like he is, but I'm not entirely sure. As I said, it's been a while since I've seen this. So Kurt's literally just gone outside and the mate is looking on. It's Kurt, this is nice, man. Bell's Diner. Yeah, there's a beautiful camera shot coming up here. Camera just starts to rise upwards. Highlighting his isolation. Here we go. So going up to an overhead shot. This is beautiful, man. And the music. Yeah, wonderful, man. Yeah, the bartender starts to get a bit pissed off here. Oh, it's you again. Like, I ain't fucking seen her, mate. 20 miles between here and the next town. You're done for, ain't you? It's these desolated spaces, man. So he's sort of helping, I guess. Seems a little bit unhelpful at the same time. So Jeff Taylor heading off, looking for his wife. Music's fantastic. It's really kind of like low-key. Oh, shit. Is that the truck? I think he's clocked the truck with red bar in. Yeah, nice shot, this. Yeah, music's wonderful. So we're assuming this is the truck. Honking his horn. Oh, it's an absolutely wonderful moment coming up here with JT Welsh. It's unreal, man. And it's the moment where the film truly starts to shift. 
Look. So Jeff's pulling up. So it's definitely, yeah, it's definitely him. It's old Red Bar staring at him like he's never seen him before. Oh, yeah. Fall over, you fucking dickhead. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, man. You better fucking pull over, you prick. Right now, it doesn't look like he's willing to stop. Oh, fucking dickhead, man. Yeah, do it, Kurt. Just pull out in front of him. I'll make him stop. My you, though. Red bars is bigger than fucking Jeff's, and he could just drive right through that fucking car, you know? Oh, this is fucking freaky. So what are you doing, man? It's me. Hey, man. It's me from earlier. This is fucking unreal. Well, what? I've never seen you before, mate. Who the fuck are you? Wife? Never seen her. <laughs> fucking hell, man. I'd fucking clock him. I'd fucking grab hold of him, you fucking... What the fuck are you talking about, mate? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, what are you doing? Yeah, you didn't sleep. Is she in the fucking back, man? Fucking chained up, tied up. What have you fucking done with her, mate? Ah. Is it police? Rather convenient, isn't it, that a cop car turns up out in the middle of nowhere. Again, though, I can't remember if this fucking prick's involved. Well, I'm on edge, man. Paranoia's rampant. So it's a delicate situation. It's uh, Jeff's word against Red's, you know? Irate husband's like, she went off with him. And he's, like, denying it, old Red Bar. And what's the police officers just in the crossfire? Ah, uh, let me. I know, it, it's pretty warm today. I mean, the heat can go to your head, you know? Seeing shit. Yeah, JT Walsh is sensational, man. Playing it down. So I've never seen him. Never seen the wife. Yeah, I think he does a full search here. From what I can tell, I think um, JT Walsh, he's already dropped the wife off back at his fucking ranch, his fucking prison. God, if I was Kurt and I've stood by this fucking prick, I'd say, no, I'm on to you, mate. When the police officer heads off, you're fucking done for. Ah, uh, not entirely sure if he does a full search here. Pretty grimy looking back area, isn't it? Hmm. Well, I don't kind of feel like she's... I don't know, it's hard to say, isn't it? I mean, if she is back there, he would have gagged her, tied her up. Both of them, isn't it? I guess. Ah, uh, so yeah, it's a full search. Opening up the back of the truck, and it's completely empty. Brilliant camera shot, let's just see off into the distance. So what can a police officer do here? He's got to take Red's word for it, hasn't he? Hmm. Seen an... Uh, kind of... I don't know if she... It's one of those when you rewatch this. You know, she could she be back there? Yeah, she, clearly she must be back at the home. Fucking hell, it's kicking off. Yeah, Kurt's not having it. You fucking son of a bitch, you went off with her. 
Yeah, completely plausible, this with the writing, character beats. Yeah, totally believable. Problem is now, Jeff's getting desperate and he's going to get his ass arrested here. Look. Sheriff's letting it play out. If you need to see it for yourself, it's empty, mate. I don't know what to say. Maybe your wife, she got a lift with somebody else. Who can fucking say? So, as an audience viewer, you definitely, you know something's wrong here, but there's always that argument that uh, maybe it was another guy who looked exactly the same as JT. Well, that's a little bit fucking... Yeah, that's not so plausible. Yeah, it's definitely him, but you're thinking, what the fuck, man? Left me. A <laughs> marriage was not on the rocks, mate. Oh, yeah, cabin fe fever. They went out here. The marriage is over. Yeah, fuck you, man. If this was me, I'll say, look, Sheriff, I know you're about to head off. I need to stay in contact with you because something bad is going down here. So he's, okay, so he's got the information, but they're about to part ways, the three of them. Oh, fuck me, man. I mean, potentially what you should try and do here is track JT Walsh. Track the truck, man. I mean, he's heading off now, so Kirk. Oh, the sheriff's like, you're coming with me. Yeah, so no way of tracking him. Yeah, those sunglasses are amazing on JT Welsh. He's absolutely killing it. I do feel like his performance throughout is very, like, scene-stealing. What I enjoy about it, though, it's so low-key. He's just a wonderful actor. Yeah, Kurt Russell's beautiful as well, as always. So missing persons. Thirty one miles. Fuck me to another fucking town. Oh, some woman's oh great. It's the sheriff's heading off music's building. The car's looking pretty desperate here. Yeah. So he's asking, go hook up with my deputy. So the sheriff's done everything he can. Kind of like that. Fuck me, look. Desolate highways, I love it. Right and left. Yes, it's very uh, Hitchcockian, isn't it? Yeah, we're truly locked in with the main character here. Jeff, I love it, it's fantastic. So he went back to this town. Oh, look, a sheriff drinking fucking coke. So look at all these missing persons cases, man. Fuck me. You wonder if this is connected, spoiler alert, to the uh, family. It's a lot of missing people, I tell you. 100,000 people on average go missing. Music's wonderful. Oh, the soundtrack is fantastic, man. very subtle the music just creeps in Jesus 24 hours would be too fucking late you know she could be dead by then Jessica Jane kidnapped 1996 on that coke can very cool I like it it's like the Olympics I wonder if that's the... It was the Olympics. It looks like there's an Olympic logo on the can. Oh, Sheriff, man. Fuck me. I don't want to point the finger at law enforcement here, but I feel like this is... um Kurt's thing to figure out now. He's out of options. Where'd you go, though? Oh, so he's going back to this fucking diner. He's going to have it out with him. So Kelly's diner. 
Yeah, the bartender's gonna kick off here. A treat sharpening his fucking knives. Oh, it's you again. Told you not to come back. I've never seen you before, mate. That would freak me out. The bartender said, I've never seen you, mate. <laughs> he wants to have a look out in the back. This feels plausible, I guess. Oh, yeah. It's not time to be cracking jokes, hillbilly. Yeah, Kurt's about to kick off here. Yeah. About to go full fucking postal. Look at him. Oh, yeah, somebody chugging in the toilet. Fuck me, man. Oh, yeah, you think this is funny, boys? The bottles of buds. Hmm. Yeah, look at the paranoia. He's looking at everybody. Thinking, are these fucking dickheads? Are all of them involved? It's hard to say, isn't it? Feels real, though. Natural, natural reaction. Ah, uh, is he going to check the slips? This is like food orders. Yeah, I love how the camera's just moving in on uh, Jeff. Yeah, maybe his wife's handwriting. Here we go. Bartender's well in his right seat. Are, are you fucking nuts, man? I wish, yeah, that's kind of... Oh, yeah, I feel like, yeah, Kurt's just going to grab it. Oh, yeah, it's kicking ass. Can't can't kicking ass. He finds it, doesn't he? Look. Oh, he's pulled out his fucking pop pistol. I've killed, I've killed men before, right out in the middle of nowhere. No one will find your body, yeah? Put down my food orders. Dickhead, and leave. Oh, look. Everyone's giving him the eye. Hmm. He's out of options here. Yeah. Oh, this sucking dickhead. With the red, it's not like a Corvette. I'm not good with cars. This fucking prick. With the red car here. Look at him. Watching on. He's fucking involved. Look. Look at this fucking... In oh, yeah. My name's Billy. So this is Billy. Jack Noseworthy. Billy, what do you know about my fucking wife? Question is, why is he letting on here? Surely they want to keep... Why don't they want to keep it all hush-hush? They've got her, and he's letting on that he's seen her. Billy, boy, suggest another truck. So he's fucking, so what he's trying to do, he's trying to uh, deflect the attention off old Red Bar saying she's headed off with another man. Oh, they're looking on. It's the bartender's looking on. Oh, he's really cranking up the sensor like everybody's fucking involved. Oh, yeah, Billy, I don't believe for a second that you're a fucking retard. I just feel like you're a good fucking actor, mate. You're fucking involved. Ring his fucking neck, cut. Oh, now he's saying the police are in on it. Fuck, man. You're done for, cut. They're all fucking involved, mate. So he mentioned something about a fucking river. Fuck me. Is there anybody you can call? God, fuck, can you get a signal? Fuck me, man. Yeah, the music's properly kicking in now. T tense, thriller-esque. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm loving uh, Kurt Russell's performance here. It's a nice balance between like desperation and then obviously Kurt is like inner strength starts to kick in. Yeah, beautifully cast in a role like this. The thing with Kurt Russell, he sells like if you want like somebody to carry a film in a tense nature, he's your man. Oh, it's sealed off. Caution. So the road's closed. How oh, the fuck is... What the fuck, man? So the fucking area is sealed off. There's no way of it leaving. Oh, it's this fucking truck. So this is fucking L, isn't it? Yeah, L's back. Oh, yeah. He's about to take the shot. They're just keen to, like, fucking end him now, aren't they? Oh, he's driven right through. Nice. Yeah, so some great uh, stunt action here. Yeah, so the chase is on. It's L versus Jeff. Nice, man. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, great aerial shot here. Yeah. Oh, it's closed in pretty fast, so well. Feel like you're gonna have to take a tumble here, Kurt. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, music's pretty full on. It's about on point though. It's not too on the nose. Yeah, it feels so much like Alfred Hitchcock, all of this, baby. Oh, you need to lose him, Kurt. He's on your fucking ass. So where are we to? Oh, everywhere's fucking blocked, man. Talk about pre-planning, guys. Oh, he's just going to have to drive off the side into the fucking river. Going to head down, Kurt. Oh, look. Oh, here comes Jeff. He's going to push him over. <coughs> Kurt's not hesitating. Straight down. Very cool. Keen to get out of there, I guess. He knows he's done for. Guy's got a fucking weapon. So that's kind of cool. Oh, he also oh, can't take the shot. I love his, like, tash that links into his sideburns. It's a great fucking look, man. Cowboy hat. Yeah, this is cool. This looks kind of real. So the car's about to get submerged in the water. Oh shit, Jeff sliding down the side. King to take a shot here, isn't he? Yeah, he's just tracking his movement for now. Yeah, you're going to have to get out of this car. Jeff, it's about to fucking sink. Oh shit. Oh, you fucking prick. He's even got a scope on and he can't fucking shoot straight. Dickhead. So Jeff's heading out the other side. Clever. Yeah, use, try and use the water as cover. This prick can't shoot for fucking... How many fucking shots? Three for that third shot wasn't even fucking close. What a dickhead. Yeah, look, Kurt Russell doing his own stunts. God, I love it, baby. Yeah, this is really neat. Pretty nuts, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, that widest shot, that shot, that's Kurt. A couple of these are obviously intercutting with a stunt. That's definitely not Kurt Russell. But kind of cool. I wonder if it's old Dick Warlock. This is like go-to stunt double guy in it so it looks like he's escaped for now so how's Jeff gonna read this he's gonna say oh he just fucking drowned oh like town meeting did you get him oh he took a tumble that way you prick <laughs> Nice. So I'm loving this, man. Kurt doing a lot of his own 
Stop just in the water in the elements. You gotta love it, man. It's all in. Oh shit. So that's Ooh, I wonder if that is that actual donut spa that his wife had hold of. Interesting. Ah, so they're hauling up the fucking Jeep. Ah, smart Jeff. So looking on. Yeah, this is what he wants to do. It's any way of tracking their movement. Problem is, now he ain't got a fucking car. So it's all... It's after... Got Oh, it's this dickhead. Hillbilly number three. He's just knocked him out. Here we go. Oh, hey. Do you know what I do with my, my voice? Look, I love the sound of like flies. Oh yeah, shit for brains. Is that what you're gonna call me, guys? Oh, now they want fucking money, in it. So was this the long-term plan? Kidnap the wife, hope he comes back, and then try and get some money out of him. What the fuck, man? Or did they just kidnap the wife, hoping they could get it out of her? Donut King? The fucking prick. Oh, it's quick to kill him. So we've got Billy and Earl and Jeff. So he's got the money. Pretty terrifying. Clearly they've killed people before. As I said though, this shit like this is so fucking plausible. Out in the middle, middle America, out in the middle of nowhere. It's a fucking weird fucking... In oh, here he is. JT Walsh, this red bar. What an incredible shot. It's you. I knew it. Love the music, man. What do I want? Oh, my fucking wife. Five, five, hundred and fifteen pounds. What dialogue? You great fucking ass, yeah? Why? Why not? If I treat myself, you know? You driving out in the middle of nowhere? Bring him up here. He's going to show him the town, isn't it? He wants a wire transfer. Love this aerial. Distance shot. Town of Bracket. Fucking brilliant, man. What are they doing with the music and the sound effects? I absolutely love it. all of the locales in this film. So it's a $90,000 transfer. Again, guys, sorry to bring up Alfred Hitchcock, man, but it's just... Oh, fucking hell. Jeff? Redneck? Is that your name? Yeah, just going back to Hitchcock. It's got that kind of Hitchcock structure, isn't it? Voyeurism, paranoia. One guy... So yeah, JT Walsh is going to be like, don't you try, you know, worming your way out of this. You transfer the money. We see anything and your wife's fucking dead. So clever, man. They've done their research. They know the movement of the police in and out. Short and sweet. Yeah. You give me my fucking money. Oh, yeah, I'll end your wife. You know, and I'll turn our carcass into a shredded carcass, baby, yeah? Are you listening to me? Yeah, I'm Red Bar. Yeah, I'm Red Bar. With my fucking eyes. You slippery fucking shark, man. Oh, 
Karras got to play ball, but fuck me. Is he going to fuck this guy up? A fucking treat. Oh, yeah, Billy boy. All right, yay. I'll dance with you fucking pricks. Oh, got a fucking clown outfit. I mean, you act like a fucking clown. Red bar. Dumbass. Oh, Kurt's desperate. Oh, 49 old, yeah. Shall I put my, um, put my blue suede shoes on, guys, yeah? Look the part, yeah? I know you're going to be watching my ass. Touching yourselves. Dickheads. Play ball. Do it. Brilliant music. It's fantastic camera work. Yeah, fucking film is bubbling, baby. What I love about it is the constant close-ups on Kurt's face. It's a sweat, man. You can just feel the heat, the tension. Palpable. Again, this shady fucking town, man. It's fucking unreal. It's like it's just empty fucking shops. It's like, where are the townsfolk to? Does anybody fucking live here? It's completely fucking deserted. Look. Well, that's fucking, um, that's the van, isn't it? So he's being watched. Yeah, I love it, man. Ah, oh, so this is the bank owner, bank manager. So you guarantee you've got three guys behind Jeff at the moment. So straight away, you're like, are they listening in? Look. Yeah, I'm looking at the guys in the back. Just got to make the transfer, mate. I'm out of fucking time. Just do it. I guess when you're out in the middle of nowhere, I think it's, again, quite plausible for a bank manager to potentially be asking, like, additional questions like this, you know? Seems a little bit odd. Sort of come in from the middle of nowhere asking for this, you know, large amount of money. Oh, he's going to try, he's going to try and communicate with him. Shit. I mean, that's in the blank... Blank bank manager clocked the fact that he's got a little like gash on the top of his uh, forehead. He didn't really clock that and the sweat on his face. Oh yeah, just keep writing. Difficult one for the bank manager to read. So are you losing your fucking mind, mate? What are you trying to tell me? Oh look, somebody behind him. Yeah, again, it's so fucking Hitchcock, innit? So is this fucking prick bathed in fucking black leather? Is he involved? Fuck me, man. Yeah, I got... Oh, look, how convenient that he's just now sat in, like, eye shot. Definitely involved. Fucking love it. Yeah, shout out to the um, composer. I think they're working wonders right now with the music. Very tense, you know. Drops in and out. I love it. Yeah, so just like shit. I'm not going to tell him anything. I feel like, yeah, just transfer the fucking money. Just get to it. Oh, I've got minutes. Just get to it pronto. Fuck me, man. Yeah, I love the sweat on Kurt Russell's face, man. It's glorious. I bet they had to keep touching him up between shots. Oh, got enough sweat. It's fucking relentless. This is a fantastic sequence. Oh, men's room. I guess sensible. Lock, oh, I can't lock the door, but gather your thoughts. Like, what do you do? Yeah, that gash on his head's getting a uh, starting to spread a little bit. What do you stock up on toilet roll? What the fuck do you do, man? <laughs> Some kind of weapon, I guess. Sensible. <clears throat> 
Yeah. Tight cat, man. Just feel it's a matter of time before somebody starts knocking on the door. Yeah, I like the music. It's fucking great, man. She's no like cutaway shots. People looking on. Fucking beautiful. And the music, just the tingling. Dun, 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 dun. Come on, bank manager. Make this fucking transfer. Get to it. Oh, knife. Take it. Take it. Yes, nice. Not entirely sure what he's just taken there. Slips with numbers on. Okay. Yeah, beautiful shot. Again, the voyeurism. Camera angles, just a slight. Oh, the phone's fucking ringing. This is fantastic, man. And you just know the phone's ringing for him. I go, you gotta love this fucking town, man. It's just completely deserted. Look, unreal, man. You got our money. Is that the, so he's about to answer. Just answer the phone. Oh, yeah. You wonder where he's being watched from. Guess they're probably up on the hills again with binoculars. Fucking hell, man. So, JT... Oh, just do it. JT Walsh is calling the fucking shots here. You know these fucking pricks are going to double-cross his fucking ass. You know it. But what else can he do? He's got to play ball. Fuck me, man. Kurt's looking a bit run down here. Needs to change of fucking clothing. Yeah, i got to say, they're absolutely killing it with these locations. You just feel like there's no end in sight. It's just these infinitely long... Endless fucking landscapes that go on and on and on. There's no way out. Oh, here we go. So who's driving? It's probably fucking Jeff, isn't it? Not Jeff. L character name. Sorry. This is probably L driving the car. Jeff's moving in. Or is it JT Welsh? Oh, Red Bar? Ah, oh, it's fucking hell. Shit for brains. Fuck off, mate. I'm getting in the car with you. Nah, 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 nah. I'll give you the money and you drive off and I never see you again. Fuck me. I guess he's got the fucking gun, so he's calling the shots. <sighs> he's supposed to check the money's legit. Turn around. So what, you shoot me in my fucking back? This guy's annoying me. Can't wait for fucking Jeff to end L. He's going to handcuff him. Fucking hell, man. Oh, he's taping his hands. Good thing is, Kurt's got that knife. So he potentially cut through. Bit of fucking aggressive, ain't you, L? Giving you your fucking money. So, about to get the reveal of the home. Fuck me, man. Why are you doing this? 
Oh, stop talking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fuck off, you prick. Yeah. Yeah, MC Gainey's wonderful throughout as well. Really cool. Done deal. Got his fucking carcass. Got the money. Oh. He's going to take him out. I'll do it. Yeah, you kind of feel like he needs to do... Yeah, I guess... Um... Yeah, Kurt's read between the lines here. He's like, i go in this prick. He ain't, he ain't taking me back to his wife. Oh, yeah. Do you want a bit of knife action in the neck, mate? As you keep fucking talking. Shit for brains. Yeah, cool sequence. Pretty precarious, though. If Kurt attempts to take him out here, yeah, because obviously um, Earl's still driving the car, so anything could fucking happen. Oh, so it was... Yeah, he tampered with the fucking car. I knew it. Oh, yeah. We're going to spend the money on you, dickhead. New fucking cowboy hat, eh? Fucking end him, car. End him. There it comes. What is it? <laughs> so the money's completely wrong, you fucking dickhead. Oh. Wrestling match. Oh, they're fighting over the gun. Place your bets. Yes, yeah, smart. But it's pretty dumb from L to not even count the money properly. So it's a test of strength here. I feel like Jeff can overcome this prick. Nice sequence this. Editing's phenomenal. Yeah, fuck him up, Kurt. Yeah, absolute mismatch. I knew it. When the shit hit the fucking fan, Kurt Russell kicks fucking ass. Oh, how about I tie you up now, hell yeah? Get out the fucking Vaseline. Oh, shit. Who's coming? Oh, it's typing his fucking neck up. Beautiful. So, who's this? Better not be somebody who's involved. Pretty smart from, um... G yeah, Jeff. Like, I don't trust anybody. Speak, yeah, yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, nice. Yeah, like, Kurt Russell coming into his own now, taking control. Talk, you asshole. Yeah, oh, you got stuts, oh. You stuttering, mate. Yeah, fuck him up. Yeah, this sequence feels like royally fucking... Oh, shit, it's a sheriff. Fuck me, man. Yeah, you gotta... I gotta say, the... Structure of this... Of the screenplay is phenomenal. Just the, the beats, man. Perfectly paced. Billy, give me a fucking address. Shit, man, he, what's he gonna... Oh, again, though, he could be done for here. The sheriff pulls him over. He's got no fucking alibi with any of this. So it's a Texaco main highway. Fuck me, how's he gonna worm his way out of this situation? Now the officer's like, get on the ground. Get on the fucking ground. Look at the state of him. Shredded fucking clothes. Sweat. Blood. Oh shit. Earl's getting out. Ah, oh, if I recall right. Don't Earl kill the police officer. Fuck me. Oh look. How fucking random is this? So, like, Earl's like, I'll just kill the officer. Talk about power fucking struggle. 
Fuck me, shot him in the neck. Shoot to kill, isn't it? So Jeff's making a run for it. Yeah, real like cat and mouse, this. Oh, shit for brains. Turn of the fucking side. Oh, nice. The sheriff went dead. Took the shot. Well, at least now. I mean, he's just... No, he's... I can't recall if he goes back to the sheriff here. Yeah, how'd you play? Oh, fuck. Yeah, this is kind of nice. So, Jeff. So, sort of showing his humanity here. Can't recall if the sheriff's done for here or not. Yeah, maybe he'll survive. He's not looking good right now. Just got to fuck off, though. Oh, this sheriff's surely fucking dead, isn't he? Oh, yeah, just let him bleed out. I guess, though, um, Jeff can't hang about here. He's going to try and find his wife. It's crime scene as well, so if he was to hang about, they'd probably call him in. Oh, so we got a row of fucking trucks. How fucking cool is this? So this is the meeting point, isn't it? Fuck me, man. Are they changing trucks? This is fucking awesome. Yeah, I do enjoy... Oh, he's been looked... Oh, oh, cop cars everywhere. Fuck me, I was just looking at the time, so we've already passed an hour. Fuck me, man. I kind of like it in the sense that how... We've not seen the wife probably for a good 45 minutes. This is, kind of, this is amazing. Oh, he's looking on. Everybody kind of looks like JT Walsh, but it's not, it's not your guy. Yeah, I love this. And the paranoia with the share of the cop cars. It's rampant, baby. Yeah, what's concerning him is have they have they sent the signal out, the call out, there's this oh there he is. Fuck me, man. How convenient. So he's right behind uh, Red Bar. Yeah, baby. Jeff. Best thing you can do, don't have it out with him here. Just track his fucking movement. Yeah, very cool. Fucking hell, man. JT Walsh is super fucking shady, isn't he? Do enjoy the music. It's lots of, like, variations with, like, sequences. Oh, is he going to go Max Cady style? Got to get underneath, mate. Hang on. Hmm. <laughs> oh, sprinting off. Is he doing it? He's going all, he's all in. Max Cady style. I love it. Hang on. Hang on for dear life. Should be alright here. Yeah. I mean, it's not as if he's driving off like a fucking tit. So again, seems plausible, you know? Yeah, really, really cool. So that's definitely not Kurt Russell. That's Kurt Russell. Prob nah, probably not. Little boy's looking on. Yeah, that's probably a studio shot there. Projected backdrops. Kind of nice though. Looks real. You'd imagine on a couple of these wide shots, it's probably a real stunt guy. Yeah, like there, it's potentially a stunt guy. And that's obviously Kurt, that's a studio shot. Oh shit, hang on. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I wonder how, that must be super fucking painful. Laurie's speeding off and you just randomly drop your feet on the ground. Can't recall yet yeah, whether or not he tries to get into the um oh he's gonna drop his gun. Fuck me man. 
I love it, man. Just these little, like, moments. Yeah, I can't recall if he's going to try and get into the passenger seat here. Looks like there's a way to get into the back. If he can break the lock. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I love it. This is real physical work. Fucking hell, man. You can definitely see how this film echoes a bit of, um, is it Jill, Spielberg's Jill? The, um, the guy's getting stalked by a fucking lorry, isn't he? Yeah, there are a couple of, like, shots in the way that they build the tension. I, yeah, I definitely feel like Breakdown is sort of rifting on that a little bit. Kind of makes sense. Yeah, look at this camera shot here. Wonderful. Careful, he needs to get inside, yeah? Well, it looks like he's trying to reach the passenger side, by the looks of it. Ah, uh, that's convenient. Plonk his ass on the back. Very nice. Yeah, that's definitely a stunt guy. Well, right, that's obviously Kurt. Nice. It looks like, um, yeah, shifting into evening now. Very, very nice. It's a bit of a track home, old Red Bar. So this is his fucking home. Fucking dickhead. Like, he lives out in the middle of nowhere. Got his big fucking garage. Oh, is this the wife? Oh, he's got children. Telling me this prick's been fucking breeding. This is his hillbilly fucking wife. He's probably not even told her that he's got a fucking woman. Chained up in the fucking shed. Oh yeah, I got this woman in my fucking shed. Oh, the barn. It's a barn. It's a nice barn dance incoming. Yeah, the way they... um, The layout of this barn is fantastic. In regards to it. It just feels very cinematic. Lots of like hidden areas. Yeah, it plays well on film, I've got to say. Definitely a studio. But, um... Studio shot set. Oh, hey, DK, do you want to be just like me? Super fucking shady, eh? Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah, just giving his young fucking son a knife. Start him early. Next fucking stop gun violence. Dickhead father. So, I think she's in the back, if I recall. Let's have a look. No, 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 no. Getting confused here. Yeah, it's kind of nice that you don't see the wife for so long. Definitely sort of maintains this, that sense of attention, like, oh, shit, where's she to? Yeah, nice, man. Yeah, Jeff, Kurt, Kurt Russell, very resourceful right now, constantly on the move, thinking on his feet. Yeah, this is such a cinematic movie, isn't it? Lots of, like, reactions and glances and tension building. And some phenomenal camera work, I've got to say. Ah, uh, so this is the barn. Yeah, this is a wonderful interior space. Yeah, look at this, man. Gone to town with the lighting. Yeah, I love it, man. So you've got, like, boxes. There's loads of areas for him to hide, you know? Yeah, it's really, really cool. So all these boxes. Boxes are, like, clothing. Yeah, man. Jesus, man. Did this all cut? Yeah, all these number plates. These are all of their fucking victims, isn't it? 
How many fucking, you know, families, individuals have these fucking pricks taken out? Look. So gadgets, cameras. Right little fucking enterprise going on here. So it looks like I'll, um, so is it Billy, Billy and Red? Shit. So, baseball bat. Keep it close, Kurt. So, I think we're about to get the big reveal of the wife here. Oh, it's a bar room. It's a barn dance. So, we've got... Billy and Red. And this other prick bearded dickhead. Oh, so Earl's gone missing. How convenient. Oh, get rid of the cutting ties. Fucking hell. Here we go. So I think this is the wife. Nice camera work. Shifting from like right to left. It's kind of cool. They're just pulling stuff out. And he's glancing on. You can kind of see how this is all plausible. Because they live out in the middle of nowhere. And they seem to be far enough away from where like. Oh is this sir? Fucking hell. Pretty grim moment for uh, Jeff. Is he dead? Oh he's losing his fucking shit. Suicide. It's no fucking laughing matter boys. He's got to let it play out. He can't. She's alive. She's alive. I'm calling it. Oh, great acting from Kurt Russell, man. Yeah, look. Oh, there's hope, mate. Just hang in there. Oh, they're laughing like it's fucking comedy hour. Dickheads. Oh, the wife probably doesn't know nothing about this. He's been at it for 20 years and she's never... She's never once stepped into the fucking barn. With his fucking number plates and his cameras and his clothing. Yeah, camera angles are wonderful, man. Oh, look, underground area. Ah, this is so cool. Wow, well, Jeff, uh, he's witnessing it all. Oh, look. Yeah, this is... Yeah, looking eyes. Kind of... It's a little bit convenient, isn't it? A little bit staged. Oh, how convenient that the wife and the husband lock eyes at that moment. That's all right, though. Kind of nice, I guess, to have them both at that moment. It's just, yeah, it gives them a fighting chance, I guess. So she's down there. It's locked. I mean, you just got to hunker down here and hope they fuck off. And then potentially try and break her out. What I love about this, though, is Jeff goes to fucking town. He goes after him big time. I fucking love it, man. Ah, oh, closing in for the night, eh? Hillbillies. All right, what's the plan then? Jeff... I guess priority one is trying to reach your wife. I guess. Whether or not you can break this fucking lock. Mmm. Shit. Yeah. Pr oh shit, they're coming back. Fucking hell, man. Can't radios down, I guess. I mean, who do you... I don't know. You've got to resolve this yourself. Documents. Rush random shit in it. Oh, he's got a gun. Is there any bullets in the chamber? Is the chamber empty? 
He's got a gun. He's got a chance. He's going to go up to the house. Or is he going to ch- shoot the lock? He's going up to the house, isn't he? <laughs> Fuck me. Like, he's all in. Fuck me. He's not hesitating to go right in there. Stepping into the lion's fucking den. This is beautiful. Kind of creepy how this fucking dickhead Red Bar and his normal fucking home life. Super fucking creepy. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hillbilly style. Shut your corners, cat. He's fucking pricks. Aw. Oh, let me guess. It's the kid playing violent video games. His father's just handed him a fucking knife. Playing violent video games. Daddy's breeding the next fucking mass murderer, isn't he? Yeah, look. Oh, they're, <laughs> they're in a game of fucking poker. Strip poker, isn't it? Billy and Red lubing themselves up. Yeah, this is a nice reveal. <laughs> I can't believe how fucking easy it was. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Oh, look. Billy's looking on. Oh, shit. Come into my home? Oh, I've never seen you before, mate. Mister. Mister. I don't know you, mate. Your wife? I've never seen her, mate. Oh, he's a slippery, man. Oh, the guy. Oh, shit. Oh, he's trained his son well. He's locking a fucking. He's going to take the shot on Kurt. Oh, the kid wants to do it. He's been trained. He's a trained fucking killer. Take the shot, kid. Yeah, keep it in the family. Yeah, any sign of movement, you shoot him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, son. Yeah, remember, you shoot him in the head. Shoot to kill. Yeah, Deke. Take the shot, mate. Rack up a body count. Yeah? Squeeze it. Lube it. Lube the trigger. This is... You can see the kid don't want to take the shot. Squeeze it. Shoot your fucking father, son. Kill your dad. Don't kill Kurt. Kurt's a good guy. Oh, fucking hell. Ooh. Oh, Billy's made a run for it. Beautiful sequence. So this is nice. So Jeff's got red, but the fucking Billy's fucked off. Yeah, this is cool. Uh, You do feel sorry for the, uh, the mother and the son. It's like they didn't want a world of this. It's the fattest fucking dickhead. Red bar. It's this fucking Enterprise. Get out. Move. I love JT Walsh. It's all in the eyes, man. The way he's looking on, it's like, oh yeah, I'll get you. I'll get you. Nice moment for the mother to see this. Because she's obviously not aware of what's been going on. Got a fucking woman in the fucking basement. The fuck, man? What the fuck have you been doing? Oh, Arlene, you're about to see the real me. You never knew. Nice, nice moment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fantastic, man. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, the acting is wonderful. I love it, man. Two wives going, get off me! The only fucking thing that's going to fuck this up is old Billy Boy still out there. Oh, yeah, give it to him. Taste of his own medicine, tie him up. Let him burn him fucking hell, you prick. Don't know why you're smiling, Red Bar. Fuck off, mate. Knock him out. Yeah, kick him in the fucking face. Love it, man. 
done with his fucking talking. Oh, let me guess. Old Billy Boy's about to come back in. This is phenomenal right now. This is sensational. Got to get out of here, guys. Yeah, Billy. Billy fucking Big Balls. Oh, yeah, Billy. I thought you were a fucking retard. Oh, he's locked and loaded. Showdown in Tokyo. Fucking hell, man. So, Billy's going out all guns blazing here. Yeah, this is a nice fucking sequence. Ah, beautiful. So, it's transitions into early morning. Very nice. Passage of time. Nice. The sun just coming into shot. Oh, here comes Billy. Oh, yeah. So the chase is on. So they're making a run for it. And you're guessing Billy's going to attempt to let or get red out the fucking hole. Yeah, nice. Fuck me. Yeah, it's a race against time, yeah. Fuck me. They just need to find a vehicle of some sort. Or is he looking for the keys? Fucking hell, baby. Oh, get off the fucking blower, mate. Just find the fucking keys. Police ain't going to get there in time. Yeah, this thing only ends one way. It's fucking bloodshed. Oh, look. He got in his fucking truck. <coughs> fucking hell, Red Bar. I got in your truck pretty fast, you prick. Oh, he's all in now. Wants to kill their fucking asses. Yeah, kind of comical moment, that. So he got in his fucking truck a little bit quickly, didn't he? It's no problem destroying his own home, either. Yeah, so old Red Bar, JT. Yeah, he's in full killing mode here. Yeah, the truck is ominous, man. Gotta say. Oh, fuck me. It's a bit of a mismatch, this. Fucking hell. It's a big fucking chase sequence. Nice. Yeah, this is awesome. What a finale. What an ending. Fucking hell, man. Well, at least Jeff's got a fucking gun. No, you won't see him. He knows these roads all too well. Fucking hell. Oh, somebody's shooting at her. Oh, it's fucking Billy Boy. So it's... They're coming at, coming at him from all fucking... Oh, hello, Billy, you prick. You dickhead. Yeah, knock this fucking schmuck off the road, Kurt. End him! Billy's about to take... Oh, there's two of them. So you've got Captain fucking Birdseye and Billy Boy. Yeah! Ramming hour. Take the shot, Kurt. Fucking shoot me in the fucking head. Oh, Billy, take the shot, you dickhead. Hopefully they'll shoot each other. Oh, now JT up the fucking rear. It's three on fucking one. It's a fucking gang rape in this. <coughs> oh, they're looking to end him now. They're all in. Just go. Hopefully. One of them takes a tumble. Brilliant. Billy out, out, of, the, out of the picture. Yeah. Oh, what the fuck, man? Blew up. Kind of random, I guess. <laughs> oh, Captain Birdseye. You dickhead. <laughs> yeah, cool thing about a truck this size. Yeah, it can disconnect. He's lost the back area. I guess maybe... Oh, what? Captain Birdseye's dead. Fuck me, man. Yeah, the action sequences are awesome. I guess this sort of works in uh, Red Bar's favour now. Look at losing that back area. Could drive a bit faster. Oh, he's out of bullets. Fuck me, Jeff. Oh, here comes the bridge. What finale. That's ah, fucking awesome. Yeah, you just know one of these... 
fucking pricks is dying here. Oh, look, fuck me, man. It's the red bars. Look, gonna push them right off. Into the fucking water, you dicks. Yeah, this barrier is not going to be able to withstand this. Fucking hell, run their ass. Fucking hell, man. So they're hanging on for dear life. Fucking hell, man. What a sequence. <coughs> Jesus. Oh, shit, the wife. Her leg's fucking trapped. Fuck me. Yeah, this is awesome. This red bar continues to try and drive them off. Fuck me. Get him. Fuck him up, Jeff. Fist cuss. Yeah, you get in there. Get in the passenger so I'll fucking kill you, you prick. Oh, so they're wrestling over control of this fucking truck. The wife is hanging on for dear life. Yeah, what a sequence. Fuck me, man. Just goes on and on. Oh, shit. They're tumbling over. Fuck me. Wow. What a fucking moment this is. So this fucking... Oh, fuck me. He's got to get out of here. If possible. It's all kinds of... It's all very Hollywood, this, isn't it? You're like, really? But it kind of works. I like it. So JT... Fucking hell, man. So Red Bar's trying to climb back up. And Jeff's looking on. They're both technically done for you. Still putting my money on Kurt fucking Russell, man. Yeah, he's climbing up. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, he's got JT's leg. Oh, he's... Oh, what the fuck? Hanging on. Yeah. Toss him over. Yeah, fuck him up, Kurt. Yeah, so Jeff's about to end a red bar. Fuck me. Don't he get him with the fucking chain here? I can't recall. Oh, wow. So JT's going at him with a fucking chain. Oh, he's got him, look. All in the eyes. Got to pull him right off. Fuck me, what a fucking death sequence. Right onto the fucking rocks, isn't it? Fuck me. Oh, and how convenient that the truck's going to fall on his fucking head. Climb up, Jeff, quickly, mate. Fuck me, man. He's got to get his wife out of there quickly. Yeah, because it's not over here. Truck's about to fall. Any could be any fucking second. He's just going to have to pull her out here. I know the pain is uh, pretty full on. Shit. Truck's about to take a tumble. He's got to release her leg. Clocks. Come on, pull. Pull, you bitch. Oh, they're out. They're safe. Bloody hell, man. Oh, an awesome fucking movie. Yeah, Kurt Russell, baby. Definitely got to say, this is probably... I mean, you're definitely putting breakdown in Kurt Russell's top five performances of all time. He wants to check the body here. Yeah, he doesn't feel... Yeah, he's going to look over here. Is that fucking prick dead? Oh, Red Bar. Red Bar's just on the fucking rock, isn't he? Let's have a look. I like this. Don't the wife fucking end him? Yeah, she releases the truck. Yeah, look. Oh, he's still moving. Oh, he's looking up. The wife, wife is like, fuck me, fuck him. Nice. Oh, best to make sure. So the red bar's just been royally fucking crushed. What a great movement. 
Yeah, I love this. It's just like desolation, empty, alone, a couple together. But pretty like grim ending. You know, I kind of like it. Just holding on to each other. It's kind of in a state of disbelief, isn't it? What the fuck have we just been through? What a beautiful end shot. Camera's just pulling back. Yeah, I love it. It's fabulous, man. And a super wide shot. The bridge. What a wonderful fucking movie, man. So just getting the cast. Yes, outstanding. Shout out to JT Walsh. Sensational as Red Bar. I think the entire cast, man, it's just stellar. Real ensemble. They all get their moments, you know. Yeah, wonderful movie. Really glad to have covered this. It's been a few years, but yeah, holds up a treat. I enjoyed the length of the movie. It's lean and keen. 90 minutes in and out, you know. Zero fucking fat. Yeah, we don't get enough films like this nowadays. The majority of films seem to be too long. But this is just perfect. Perfect pacing. Perfect movie in my eyes. So guys, yeah, just winding down. Is there anybody else? No, that's pretty much all of it. Yeah, the only other actor I feel like they could have cast in something like this would have been old Harrison Ford. You know, it calls for a, uh, very much a, it's a physical role, isn't it? So yeah, Harrison Ford would be the only other guy. But for me, Kurt Russell's perfect for the role. So yeah, it's ideal. Synthesizes Eric Colvin. So we're just winding down here. So that's it, guys. Yeah, so today, um, just hitting stop here, guys. Yeah, so this was, uh, so today, guys, I've been covering Breakdown, starring Kurt Russell. This is John Doe signing off. If you've enjoyed this commentary, do you, uh, consider giving me the thumbs up. And also check out my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I'll be back again soon. Bye now.